Right. <laughs> she was a freedom fighter, an icon in my community. She still uses that mom seatbelt. She'd always walk on the side of the road of where the traffic was. The seatbelt is safe, but mom is safer. A strong black woman. My mother's nickname for me is Boki. Upudi. She would use that in the most awkward moments on purpose. Boki. <laughs> my brother and I went on a road trip with my mom. Of course, mom took the opportunity to be a backseat driver for about 10,000 kilometers. When I was young, what my mom used to do to cheer me up is she would give me what, um, what we in the family call Mokwena kisses. So a while back, we saw my mom up on Instagram and she browsed past one of my photos and I asked her mom, why don't you like my photos? And she said, no, I do like them. Ooh, slow down. Okay. But you're not indicating. And I said, but you need to like them, mom. She says, no, I like them. They're very nice photos. She would just kiss me all over my head, forehead, ears, everything. Then I actually had to show her that you have to double tap to actually like the photo. Every now and then, me and my brother, we'd be driving and we'd just hear like some sniffling from the back. And um, we'd turn around and my mom would be crying. The fact that we got to do that for her, we got to experience that with her was very special. Uh, the last time she called me that, it was... The one time I remember that my mom really, really came through for me is when I came out to her. Yeah, it was the last few hours. She was very loving and supportive, and she reminded me of who I am, which gave me immense strength and, again, made me the man that I am today. I'm having a kid soon, uh, in July. I'm naming the kid after her. I know you've done everything that you can do for us. I have never loved anybody more than I love you. She brought up a good man.